got me like Hey what is up people and welcome back to the show today I'm going to teach you how to underclock your graphics card and your processor so underclocking is the opposite of overclocking so if overclocking increases your performance underclocking decreases your performance but overclocking causes a lot of heat to be spread out and heat will definitely fuck your processor and graphics card up so if you don't want your pc to run at high temperatures you could just underclock it even by a little tiny bit it's going to make a huge difference so first step it's going to be how to underclock your processor it's underclock people not overclock and don't make a mess about it in the comment section so there you go straight up it's going to be a balanced or high performance for you so may it will use more performance it will give more performance and use more energy and get really hot and stuff just select the power saving change plan settings go to advanced and go to the power processor management processor power management so before that go to pci express and set it to off because you don't want your graphics card to run on lower voltage like under voltage limit so then there's the minimum processor state you could set it to as much as you want depending on your needs so for now i have a 4.2 gigahertz processor i had set it to 87% which would make that about 3.416 Well, I'm a math is right. Yes, 3.416 gigahertz. So set the system cooling policy to active. It's gonna be on passive for you because passive thing is gonna make your fans spin a bit slower. But you want to set it to active because you want the lowest temperatures possible, right? If I'm getting in the right track. So high performance, bad. Balanced, bad. Everything else, bad. But power saver, good. Thumbs up for you. So then there's the MSI afterburner. You're gonna use this to underclock your graphics card. Well, my graphics card is the GTX 960 by Zotac. Well, you could use the Zotac utility, the Firestorm, I guess it. Yes, there's there it is. But um, yeah, I agree. So okay. Yeah, you could use this thing if you are running on a Zotac card because it's gonna be more efficient on the Zotac cards. But As I as I'm as I've said, I'm a badass. I'm gonna use the MSI afterburner because I don't know why, but this thing looks cool. It has the detachable thingy which shows all the GPU, RAM, and all the random stuff. So main things: core clock, pull it, pull it to the left, and power limit. Get it down to as much low as possible. Make some trial and errors. Run a game at highest graphics, graphics and stuff. Check if your processor is stable enough at the power limit, proper at the power limit. So stability is the key. I'm gonna reset it. I'm not gonna do much about it. So since mine is on the, the you see 21 degrees and idle and 40 degrees. Wait, the thing I think is wrong. So I'm gonna show you. Oh, I accidentally opened Minecraft. Now mine. So when it's in the high performance, it's gonna go up to 4.19 gigahertz. See, see that? All my cores at 4.19, and it's gonna get the temperatures high. Let me run Cinebench. Well, by the way, my score is gonna be a bit low because I'm recording it and running all the random stuff in behind. So if you see, it's gonna go really fast with the 4.1 gigahertz and. The temperatures are also going to go really fast. Okay, if you'll notice it, it's about at 50 degrees just by doing this much of rendering. I'm going to quit this. Yeah, yes. So there we go in the power server. Let's wait for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So our temperature should be pretty much low right now. Okay. So let's run another Cinebench test. And I'm going to show you it's not going to go to a really high clock speed. See. 3.416 megahertz. The math was perfect. So there you go. It's gonna barely cross 50 degrees and the temperatures, and this thing's gonna barely cross 60 degrees. It's never gonna cross 60 degrees. What? What am I saying? It's never gonna cross 60 degrees. And there's, there you see it. 
the fans about uh, at 4900 some rpm but when it's in the power saving no not the power saving when it's in the high performance settings the fans gonna eventually go up to 6000 rpm if you're using an amd pc so beware of that it's gonna be really loud as a jet engine are about to take off so should i wait for it no i won't go i won't wait it so there you see it it's the 531 that's the underclocked processor power which is not that shabby because it's better than some Intel i7 well, by the way i7s oh my god they are at the top of the charts so never mind people thank you for watching as always i'm the Mr. mr but i do yeah, leave a like make sure to share and subscribe uh, yeah kill the subscribe button if you haven't already done it and hakuna matata and there you go pc master race for the win that's all for today. Thank you for watching. She got me like.